will start paying workers $15 an hour. This is the last in a series of annual minimum wage increases that started in 2015 when minimum wage was only $9.79. So we've known about this right along, um, which means it's not a shock. While this only affects chains with 30 or more locations, the co-owner of Anderson's Frozen Custard says her chain has to stay in the wage game, especially during a worker shortage. We believe we're competitive going to the 15 because we know that our friends at Chick-fil-A and Burger King and Arby's and all those, they are sticking with the 15. Anderson tells me the increase in minimum wage does impact their menu prices. For example, the price of a cone has gone up about 6% each year. So the whole community has to get oh, be aware of this. They might want their, their children and grandchildren and, and friends and family to get that $15 an hour. But they also have to know that they have to pay the price when they go to buy anything. So how are local restaurants expected to compete with the increasing minimum wage? Well, here at Picasso's, they think one extra cent will do the trick. It is working, unbelievably. Uh, one cent made a huge uh, difference in people noticing us. 